have you guys ever wondered how I got started in this whole business and how I came up with my logos and plans and names? Names, yeah. <laughs> so guys, I've been thinking about this video series I wanted to do with you about like uh, what I'm doing with my business, where I'm taking it next year, what my plans are, and basically I'm going to be doing um, some different branding. So you may have noticed a few uh, changes on my thumbnails. I'm testing out some colors that I'm changing to, different things like that. And I thought before I go into all of that, maybe it would be a good place to start with how I got started. So if you're interested in that, please stay tuned. For those that are here and maybe new, my name is Tammy and I own a small bath and body company called Walnut Creek Bath Boutique and I am located in central Indiana in the United States. So I've been in business almost seven years. Here's how I got started. Kind of a, kind of a fight with my husband. <laughs> We don't really fight guys, <laughs> but we had, we had a disagreement. <laughs> so here's how it was. I started like most people do. I bought a kit from Brambleberry. You know, I was kind of into all of this. I'm not going to go into that because that would make this video way too long, but you know, I was trying to try my hand at different things and I don't know where I came up with Brambleberry. I don't remember how that came to my attention or anything. So I bought a kit of soap and a soap making kit. And then I like sat on that kit for like two months. I was scared to death of using lye. And my husband was making it even worse because he didn't want me to use it at all. He didn't want me to make this unless he was home to take me to the hospital <laughs> if need be. <laughs> you all that know me, yeah, that's a pretty valid fear on his part. <laughs> <laughs> but he went gone home one day and I'm thinking, I'm just going to do it. I'm doing it. I'm not waiting for him. And I did it. And then it was, I was hooked, you know, I was hooked and it wasn't near as scary as I thought it was going to be. I didn't burn myself or lose an eye or anything like that. So I did, I made all the soaps that came with the kit and you know, it came with molds and different things like that. And, uh, I bought another kit <laughs> and I made all those soaps. And then I started buying like um, the oils in 16 ounce like containers instead of just the kit. I started buying coconut oil and palm oil and olive oil and all this stuff. And next thing I know, like many of us do, I have all this soap. And I'm thinking, what in the world am I doing with all this soap? So we're looking at like, this was January, okay? And I I became aware of a craft show in February and I signed up for it. I was like, I'm gonna sell my soap at a craft show. My husband was like, no, no. <laughs> for one thing, he doesn't tell me no, hardly ever. But when he does, it's for a really good reason. <laughs> And he's like, you cannot sell soap without insurance. And I said, nobody's going to sue me for soap. It's soap. He goes, no, Tammy, somebody's going to get a rash. They're going to sue us and we're going to lose this house. No. I was like, I'm, not, I'm, I'm doing this crack show. He said, not without insurance. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I said, well, don't I have to be a business? to have insurance? He said, Tammy, I don't care, but you're not selling soap without insurance. I said, fine, I'm going to become a business. I'm, I'm going to get, I'm going to create a business. He said, fine, <laughs> go do it. <laughs> oh, guys, we're talking maybe three weeks, maybe four. It's been so long. I can't remember, but I know it was just like a number of weeks Be between the time that I decided to become a business and my first craft show. And I tend to jump in with both feet and I tend to not always think about things before I start. <laughs> As witnessed by all of you when you watch me make soap, <laughs> like usually on the fly. <laughs> um, so I was like, okay, first things first, I need a name. And I suck 
different names and so what I did was I I emailed I like back then I had a different position at my job where I worked with I don't know five different practices offices medical doctors offices and I emailed all of my people in these all these different practices and I said Anybody that helps me come up with a name, they'll get a goodie bag, but I need a name. And all I care about is I don't want my name in my name. I don't want it to, I don't want Tammy in my name, but other than that, help me come up with a name and winner gets a goodie bag. I got so many responses. God love them with Tammy in my name. I know you don't want Tammy in your name, but how about Tammy Soaps? I was like, no, I don't want that. So close to home crafts, one. So embarrassing. <laughs> I just, I was so desperate, guys. And uh, it just, I didn't like it. But I, by this point, I'm looking at three weeks, maybe, to figure out how to get a business license and a tax ID and figure out how to get insurance before this craft show. So I just took close to home crafts and I ran with it. I, I got insurance, I got I figured out my tax ID and, and my uh, business merchant license. I, I figured all that out just by Googling everything. And uh, I think I had to call the state once and ask for help. They weren't very help, helpful, but you know. <laughs> Went to my first craft show and I was hooked. I was, it was very, I want, I, I sold 250 in sales at this first craft show. I was so excited over that $250. I was so just, and I was, I was next to this sweet lady that sold jams and she, her name was Monta. I still remember her name. I don't remember anybody's name, but I remember her name. Uh, she was so sweet and, and encouraging. And she just really, really just talked with me a lot through through the day and it was it was such a good experience I was hooked and I signed up for more craft shows so after that first craft show I worked with a graphic designer um, at work that did graphic I, I worked with someone that did graphic designing on the side at work and I got with her and I said hey can you create a business card help me create like a logo and a business card for me and she was sure what's your name it's like real close to home crafts <laughs> she's like okay what color she said tammy what's your favorite color she's probably thinking like give me something give me something <laughs> And it's like pink. I like pink. Guys, I'm sorry. I think it's, it's, I either feel like, I think it's very weird when people have a favorite color or I'm jealous that people have a favorite color and I never have. I really don't know which one it is. <laughs> when I was a girl, I would say yellow. Yellow was never my favorite color. I was just copying my mom. <laughs> I've never, ever had a favorite color. <laughs> And so, you know, I was kind of like, okay, well, pink's pretty. I said, just make it, make sure it's in like a grown-up pink, not a little girl pink. And I think she did an excellent job on that. And she said, anything else? And I said, well, let's put a hummingbird in there because my name means nothing to me. My colors mean nothing to me, but at least the hummingbird is very personal. Backstory, I'll try to make it quick. When I was in third grade, guys... I would go to the school library and and I would I checked out this book on hummingbirds and I would read it every single week. I was obsessed with these this book and these hummingbirds. I was just fascinated and I checked that book out and I think my librarian finally said, "Tammy, <laughs> maybe you should pick a different book." <laughs> I have always been, since the third grade, in love with hummingbirds. So that at least felt very personal to me when nothing else in my logo did. So she, I said, but not a cartoon hummingbird. I don't like those. It has to be a nice hummingbird. 
wants to be like an adult hummingbird, not like real cartoony. I didn't want anything cartoony. And, and I think she did a wonderful job. I love the image of my hummingbird. I love it. So I thought I, I was very, very happy with that. Fast forward a year and a half and I'm thinking I've got to get rid of this name. I, it, it means nothing. It says nothing about what I do. <laughs> and so I live next to a Walnut Creek. Uh, we call it Big Walnut basically, but I'm not putting Big Walnut in my name. But I'm thinking Creek, water, bath and body, it kind of goes, right? I mean, it just, again, it's not the super personal connection. It's not like I grew up going to Walnut Creek and wading or fishing or, you know, anything. It doesn't have this super personal connection to me, but I, I really just liked having that. And then I texted my sons and their wife and girlfriend and it's like, okay, well, how about Walnut Creek? And then I gave off like, Walnut Creek Bath, Walnut Creek Bath Co, Walnut Creek Bath Company, Walnut Creek Bath Boutique. I think I did Walnut Creek Soapery, but I didn't want to do that one really because it sounded too similar to Yellow Cottage Soapery. But I threw it out there at them and they, all four of them said Walnut Creek Bath Boutique. They liked that one the best. So that's the one I went with. Is it super, super duper personal? No, but I like it and that's all right. It doesn't have to be super duper personal. It doesn't have to have a cute uh, story behind it or have some deep meaning. I like it and it's good enough. And don't let anybody tell you it's not. <laughs> More on that in the next video. <laughs> and then, so I changed my name. I, it was much easier than I thought it would be. And I've been Walnut Creek Bath Boutique ever since. The only thing is I wish it was a little shorter because I would have liked to, I like the stamps on the side of the bar and I think it's just too long for some applications of what I would want to do with it. But other than that, I think it's, I, I like it. I like it has a good flow. <laughs> so I changed all my, all of my, um, you know, my table skirts and my banner. I got new banners, new cards, all that good stuff. So that's how I came to be. S September of 2020, I started this channel not selling a thing, not selling anything. <laughs> just, I just jumped right in like I do, just jump in, figure it out later or as I go. So that's kind of how I got started was just this, my husband, and he was right. He's always right. He was right about needing insurance before you sell. And, and um, I was just being like, snappish or whatever, snippy. I don't know what the word is. <laughs> so I was like, I'm just gonna stop. Oh, rolling my eyes. Oh, nobody's gonna sue me. <laughs> yeah, they will. <laughs> we live in the States. We live in the world. You know, people will sue you. So <laughs> get insurance, it's important. So guys, that's where I'm at now. And uh, I'm working with a graphic designer now to help me uh, change the colors and maybe even the fonts of my logo and simply because I want my fonts of my logo and all of that to match my labeling and I I don't have access to the graphic designer that did it in the and before so I don't know what fonts they are um, I like it well enough I just don't know what font she used so I can't mimic that in all of my other branding speaking of branding my next video is going to be about branding and ideal customer. It may be a little bit of a rant. I'm going to try not to make it a rant because I really hate it when people start talking about branding and ideal customers. I get a little, I get, a, I get, my back gets a little stiff. <laughs> I understand they're important but I have thoughts on why I dislike it when people start talking about them. And so the next video I'm going to post is all about my dislike of those topics and then why I think they're important. If you're interested in that, stay tuned. I hope this was a little bit of a fun video for you guys. I had fun letting you know about how my business got off the ground. And if you enjoyed it, please stay tuned for my next one. Subscribe, like, comment. Give me a thumbs up if you loved it. Give me a thumbs down if you hated it. 
all that good stuff, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.